Hey guys, what's going on? So the holidays are just around the corner. Next week is Christmas, and I'm sure some of you have not actually gone out and done your Christmas card shopping yet, and that is giving out your cards to your family and friends. Well, if not, I got you covered, because in today's video, we're, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and make your own Christmas card, something like this, in Python. And we're going to be using a module called Turtle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first build it, and I'm going to show you sort of how all of this works, and then we're going to go through the code. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to drag over the window. And what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and draw our background, which I've picked a nice Christmassy blue color for it. Um, and then after it's done sort of putting the background in there, what I've told it to do is go ahead and give me about 100 or so different snowflakes. So it's going to randomly draw 100 snowflakes in different random locations. So there's no specific location that I'm putting it in. I've basically done a while loop, which I'll walk you through in a second. And then what it's going to do is after it's done, it's about it, the hundred snowflakes or so it's going to start drawing the Christmas hat. And so we're going to see this right now, as you can see, what it's doing is it's just a bunch of shapes. So it first drew this first drew the actual red hat, then it drew the circle and then it drew the little circles over here, followed by happy holidays. And I just put from sats. So I'm wishing all of you a very happy holiday. Now, if you wanted to do this, you can actually put the name or whatever name you want to put in here and put it as a list. Now, once it's actually done this, it's gonna go ahead and store it in a folder. So I'm just gonna bring over the folder that it's in. So I actually have it in a folder called Christmas Cards. Now, the only funny thing about Turtle is that it actually saves in a format called .ps, uh, which is, I believe, stands for Postscript, if I'm not mistaken, let me just double check. Yeah, it stands for Postscript, and that's the only downside. However, you can always open up your favorite editor, something like Photoshop, and once you open up something like Photoshop, and so when I go ahead and open this, it will ask me to resize it. I'm gonna hit okay. And here it is in Photoshop. So once you have it in Photoshop, then you can go ahead and save it into whatever format you want. But again, a nice little way to build these small little Christmas cards. So let's walk through the code and let me show you how I did it. It's actually very, very basic and straightforward code. I got the shape the shapes themselves i got them off of a website uh so i got the shapes.py file off of a website which i will link down below but i'll put this code in github as well uh just so i didn't have to go through drawing this so they already had this which was great so i just sort of leveraged this code and then i created my card.py file so let's walk through the card.py file so what this is is there's a module called turtle uh, so i'm going to basically import everything from there i've got shapes and then i got random in and i am initializing my function turtle uh, to draw basically um, and then I am setting the speed for it once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and open an instance of turtle.screen which is just basically this the screen over here I'm gonna call that window the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the height and the width of the actual screen which is what the canvas uh, that'll get me the canvas and then it'll get me the height of the canvas and the width of the canvas and the reason why that's important, let me sort of walk you through why that's important. Originally, I actually had this code in here, window.backgroundcolor, and I had this color over here. However, when I saved this uh, as a .ps file, it omitted the blue color for some reason. So I did a little bit of Googling, and it's, apparently it doesn't um, take background colors uh, and convert it into the .ps. So then what I did is I just created a rectangle, and I took that blue color, and I colored around it. The next thing is I said, I'm going to draw some snow and I just picked two random coordinates, X and Y of hundred. And then I just went through a function here and I said, while I have, you know, less than hundred snowflakes, keep picking random locations between these coordinates and just draw a dot there. And then I slow down my speed so that we can actually see the triangle getting drawn and it just doesn't show up there. So then I said, draw the triangle. I set the coordinates and I play around with these coordinates a little bit just to make it line up. Uh, then I did the same thing with draw the circle and then to draw these little these little fur things down here I basically did a loop and I did some testing with this I started it at minus 200 and it went all the way to 200 and so I just wrote a small little algorithm here to say that for uh, I in range 9 so we're gonna draw nine of these circles for every single one of them shifted over by 50 units uh, but we're gonna keep the Y coordinate the same we're just moving over the X coordinate then I said pick up the pen um, and then I want to go ahead and write in green, happy holidays. And then in red, I'm going to write from sat. So you can write whatever you want here. You can write it to whoever you want. 
It's a very, very simple code. I thought this would be something fun to do around the holidays. Uh, like I said, I'll put this in GitHub. Feel free to use this. You know, save it, send it to your friends, do whatever you want to do, have fun with it. But just a small little thing. And if when you go into the shapes file, they actually have some other cool shapes in there as well. Like they have, uh, where was it? They have a square, but they also have a star. So if you want, you can also draw like a yellow star if you wanted to do a Christmas tree. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to link the uh, website below to give them credit, obviously, for this. Uh, and on their website, they have a few other examples as well. But I thought this was a fun little thing to share. So hopefully you guys found this fun and enjoyable. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And happy holidays to all of you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.